All right, so you don't mess it up now. Yeah, he's probably just... <laughs> I can't believe you've done this. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this week on Rocket League. This is a brand new series where I will be covering everything that's been going on in the world of Rocket League for the past week. Please let me know down in the comments below what you think about the new series. It would be much appreciated if you told me what you would want to see from the series in the future. But without further ado, let's get into what's been going on in the past week. Rocket League 2 is here. Well, not yet. And it's also not called that. It was confirmed today by Psyonix community manager Devin Connors that Rocket League will be moving to Unreal Engine 5. And if you're not yet convinced, Psyonix has marked the move to UE5 on their official job advertisements. I mean, none of this is really news. Musty already told us about this like two years ago. Now, in case you didn't know, Rocket League currently runs on Unreal Engine 3, which came out all the way back in 2006. This severely limits what the developers can do with Rocket League, and a move to UE5 obviously means that there are more possibilities for new game modes and maybe even a creative mode. There isn't much more we know about this, the game is still in development and is unlikely to be released anytime soon. However, what we can do is speculate. I think Rocket Ledge had some good speculation on Twitter. He speculates that the physics will most likely not change, at least in a significant way. He also thinks there's a possibility that Rocket League Next, as he calls it, won't be coming to Steam. Whatever ends up happening, this is huge news for the game and this is definitely something to be excited about. Tell me what you think about this move to UE5 in the comments down below. But let's move on to esports now. The price pool for RLCS11 has been leaked. I, ca I can't believe this. This is this is getting out of hand. On a more serious note though, in the Benelux Summer Showdown, Team WMB scored this incredible zero second goal against pre-champers to take the game into overtime. They won the game, they won the whole series, and eventually they actually won the whole tournament. So congrats to them. Team Athena won the Twitch Rivals North America Championship after completing a reverse sweep. I mean, congrats to the team and all, but seriously, somebody stop her, she's already got four. Now moving on to something that Athena didn't win. The Salt Mine Atlantic Draft Tournament started this Friday with league play finishing yesterday on Saturday. And you could say the results were interesting to say the least. Now people from North America will argue that they were missing some of their best players, but at the same time, a person from Europe would argue that so were they. Now does this prove definitively that EU is better than NA? I don't think it's reasonable to make that assumption based on a 3 day, I mean 2 day if you're a North American, draft tournament. And that's coming from a European such as myself. Never mind the end results, the league play had many great and fun moments such as Johnny Boy naming his team of all French players the boy gets. Team Sis having to play their substitute TKRL since their starter Face AJ actually slept past his alarm clock and in a surprising twist they ended up playing much better as a result. And last but not least, of course, the highlights for North America. The playoffs will be played today on Sunday and most likely by the time you're watching this they have already been played. But now on to what the community has been up to. Chesky posted a video of three goal explosions he made for SSG, FaZe and version 1 on the Rocket League eSports subreddit. And honestly, these are just too sick. Like seriously, they need to be added to the game. Links to all these posts will be in the description below, so be sure to go check them out. Another Reddit user by the name Lemon Cola has discovered possibly the most infuriating thing I have ever seen in my life. I, I can't do this. I'm, I'm gonna have to uninstall the game now. There were also some great moments this week as Burnt Pizza 84 managed to put a toxic player in his place. After playing 2v1 in hoops for almost the entire game, Burnt Pizza was getting what a save by his opponent. But with just two seconds to go, trailing by one, Burnt Pizza managed to get the equalizer, of course responding with a cheeky what a save himself. He scored from the kickoff in OT, making the opponent's rage quit in the most satisfying way. You love to see it. But ladies and gentlemen, let's end 
end today's video with some bronze appreciation. And today we have a great clip since a Reddit user by the name Lonely Hockey Fan has just scored his first goal in Rocket League. But that just about wraps up the first ever this week on Rocket League. Tell me what you think in the comments below. If you enjoyed, remember to leave a like. Subscribing is always appreciated. I've been Anton, and I'll see you guys in the next video.